Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, so we can talk to each other. Oh, there's a different channel. Oh, okay. I can hear you. I don't hear anything. Hello, hello? Hey. All right, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you, man. Okay, just getting, uh, just getting Joss into the chat. Um, yeah, I can't hear anything right now. Hi. All right. It looks like they can hear you through my mic, if nothing else. Right, I can't hear anybody though. Are, are you muted? Yeah, I'm just gonna do one, one thing. I, for start, every time I oh, plug hey. my, every time I plug this. Uh,
Okay, hello and welcome anyone who has uh, joined the stream. I'm Mr. Blackrock, and I am joined today by the rest of the Movie Theater Time Machine podcast, or, well, most of us. Uh, Bob's not here today, but we'll get him on here at some point, as soon as we can. Um, yeah, I'm Mr. Blackrock, or as everyone else seems to, everyone else knows me, name, real name's Dan. I'm the GM, uh, and about a year ago, as a birthday present for our friend Kaz here, I ran, I ran uh, everybody through uh, the beginnings of the Lost Minds of Fandelver arc for 5th edition Dungeons and & Dragons. And then the game kind of sat idle for a while. Uh, that's kind of on me. That's my bad. Uh, and you know what? With the whole quarantine going on and the fact that I finally figured out how to use Roll20 properly, I figured, let's get back into it. So we're going to restart the game. I'm uh, going to stream, the, well, not restart, but pick up where we left off. Um, and, you know, if this works out, we might do this, you know, every every other week or something like that. So... Uh, let's see, we the stream going. Let's pop over to the screen. There's going to be all sorts of randomness here. All right. So, we should sound off. We've got everybody here. As I've said, my name's Dan. I'm the GM. And we also have Nick. Uh, yeah, it's Dan. It's Dan. It's Dan. 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 Storyteller. Okay, it sounds like you're doubled up. Uh, did you uh, disable the broadcast on this end, or, or are you doubling up from Kaz's mic? Possibly for my mic. Uh, let me uh, mute my mic. Hang on, I might be able to do something here. Okay, that uh, you weren't doubled there. You got me? Yep. yep. Okay. Welcome to Dungeons yeah, and Technical Issues. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If you want, uh, I can put myself on push to talk if you can't get in. Looks like you can't get in. So, are we good? I think you're on mute. Oh. Yeah, I think she's coming over here. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll take my headphones off. So we both can hear you. Should be fine. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. So, as I said before, I'm Dan. I'm the yeah. GM. Uh, Nick, let's introduce yourself in only one voice this time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick, and today playing the part of Zozagar, the storyteller. And those who are seeing my feed will see uh, his uh, profile pic up here. He is a half-orc bard. All right, and Nick, to access your character sheet, uh, you want to go over to the, you know, that again, that sidebar on the right. Uh, okay. Click on the icon, looks like a little newspaper, it'll say journal. Okay. And then oh, okay. click on your on Zusagar the storyteller. You know, awesome. Pop open a window. You can see your character sheet. I put okay. it all, put it all together for you uh, a couple nights ago. Each of your oh, abilities, wow. like bardic inspiration and all dark vision and all that, if you click on the words, they'll pop up and tell you what they can do. Sweet. All uh right. -huh. And when I have you make a roll, uh, ninety nine percent of the time you can just click on the actual. Uh, thing on your sheet that you need to uh, use to cast. Like, say you're going to hit someone with your short sword, 
You just click okay. on short sword in the middle of the page, and it'll roll the dice for you. Okay. And uh, Kaz, same deal with you. You can do that with uh, Nonames. And while we're at it, Kaz, introduce yourself to my stream. I am Noname, the Kitsune. I forgot what my uh, position is. You are a fighter, a fighter? Uh, specifically a duelist. Ah. Uh, yeah. I am a duelist. A duel thing. Yeah. You, uh, you fight with a rapier yeah. and with the <laughs> spell Produce Flame that you can cast at um, at will uh, for just for being a Kitsune. Yay. And again, I have... <laughs> Yeah. And again, I have set up everything on your sheet same way I did for uh, for Nick. Uh, and also joining us is my lovely wife, Jocelyn, uh, tonight playing the role of Alexandria Rosala. Introduce yourself, Joss. I am Alexandria Rosala. I am a human paladin. Or a paladin. She is a paladin. A paladin. I am basic bitch... <laughs> 100%. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, I've made your sheet as well. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. So um, for those who are curious about 5e, um, I run a house rule where everybody gets a free feat at first level. And because Joss is playing a human, she'd get a free feat anyway, so she technically gets two for being, you know, because you know, you're basic. I'm basic. <laughs> and our uh, fourth player, typically played by our friend Bob, who unfortunately is not here right now, uh, is Beldar the Bold, a dwarven thief and uh, uh, dwarven master thief in training. Uh, I'll be running him tonight um, because we haven't gotten Bob on to roll twenty yet. We'll get there. We'll get him on here as soon as we can and get that all sorted out. So to catch everybody up. Uh, the, the last time we played, the group of four heroes, Zusagar, Noname, Beldar, and Alexandria, had been hired by a dwarven merchant by the name of Gundren Rockseeker to help protect his caravan uh, on its way from... <clears throat> excuse me. On its way... Ooh, and Windows is yelling at me. But yes, I do want to change the color scheme to Windows 7 Basic, because you're basic. All right. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, yes, um, Gundren Rockseeker had hired you to protect his caravan on its way from Neverwinter to a small mining town called Phandalin. Uh He had headed, up, headed out ahead of time uh, to take care of some business, and you were to go with his... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you were, you were to go with his uh, bodyguard, uh, Sildar Hallwinter, and... Um, basically protect the cargo. While you were protecting the wagon, you were ambushed by goblins and found that Gundren and Sildar had been taken captive. Uh, following their trail, you had come across the hideout of a gang of goblins. And when last we played, you had infiltrated the cave hideout uh, called the Cragmaw Hideout. Uh, you had infiltrated about halfway in and I believe when we stopped, you had just found uh, Sildar Hallwinter, the uh, human bodyguard that you had been traveling with. He has been beaten to unconsciousness, and he has a whole host of goblins kind of standing guard around him. Uh, so I will move you guys over to a battle map. I just remember talking to the wolves. Mm-hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. So you guys should see a map now. Yeah. Okay. So right. your tokens are over here. Um, I will ping on the map where they are. You'll see, like, a pink ring pop out. Okay. I'm here. Yep. You're at the back. Um... Um, Beldar is towards the middle of the I'm group. I'm sorry. No, you can zoom in. Yep. Yes, you can zoom in and out. You can scroll up and down. Uh, the group of you are at the, uh, like, mouth of a small opening leading into this, uh, cave, like, path over here. And you can see into this room there are several goblins. 
all around. And over here is Sildar Hallwinter. He is, as I said, he has been beaten unconscious. So, what oh. what do you do? Uh, the goblins don't seem to have noticed you yet. Hmm. Who's first? Well, it's up to you guys. You're not in battle. You're not in combat right now, so you can decide. You know, just tell me what it is you do. Like, do you want to jump down there and start stabbing goblins to try to save this guy? Do you want to sneak away and check the rest of the place? Like, what do you want to do? Alright, let's see. Since I'm the bard that's inactive, my thought would be to go in there and see if we could soothe the demons first with a song. <laughs> and this is how we die. <laughs> I know. Alright. You can. Alright. You wanna go soothe you... them with the song? I do not. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> okay, so the little hole in the wall that you're poking out of is maybe three feet up the wall, so you can actually slide down into that tunnel uh, relatively quietly if you, if you make me a stealth roll. That's up to you if you want to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joss is not terribly stealthy. She is wearing half plate and has a massive great sword slung across her back. So she makes a bunch of clanks and, and clongs. Oh, my job is not to be stealthy. My job is to protect. Right. My job is to stab, I think. Yep, my job is to pay. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think the ladies need to decide this one. Well, what's what's the risk of? I mean, can't we save you if they don't like your song or? If it's too loud, I guess it won't work. Mm. Can't hypnotize them. Can we? Anybody have spells? <laughs> well, uh, Nick, on your sheet, uh, you'll see uh, up just under where it says Zusagar the storyteller and you'll see a, a few buttons. Uh, if you click on the one that says Spells, it will show you the spells yeah. that you have. I have... I thought well, I do have, I do have this, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it's a Vicious Monkey here. It looks like, actually, <laughs> I have a sleep spell here. Mm -hmm. And Vicious Mockery is, a, is basically you insult someone so hard it causes physical damage. That's wow. pretty awesome. We could try using a sleep spell and see if we can get down there first. Sure thing. Uh, so, fairy fire is, um, it's basically an area effect that will light up the mm. whole area. Um, uh. it'll, it basically lays down like a, a layer of glitter over everything. So if there's anybody invisible in that space, you can reveal them. So it's a sleep, but it's, it says to cast it at what level? Should I cast it at a really high level? Or leave well, it you, you can only cast it first level right now, so that's all you can do. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cast at level one. I'll cast a sleep spell. Okay. Okay. All right, so Joss has to run outside real quick. She will be right back. What spells do I got? Uh, you, you, as a fighter, you actually don't have spells, you, but you can cast Produce Flame, because that's a Kitsune thing. Okay. 28 um. points worth of creatures. Okay, uh, and where do you center this spell? Like, where do you drop it? Um. You could put it, like, right it there. there the trolls. Right there, where you just pinged it. Right there? Okay, so that's yeah. 28 hit points worth of creatures. So... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay. So, uh, this one falls asleep. And this one falls asleep. And this one falls asleep. Hey, good job with your lullaby. And that one falls asleep. Like, all, th like all four of them are just kind of hanging around the campfire, just, like, talking back and forth to each other in their goblin tongue. And then literally four of them just, whoomph, pass right the hell out. Uh, Shouldn't have gotten drunk. This one. And... What if they're farting around the campfire, too? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> they've, they've been eating beans. This one and this one kind of go, huh, what was that? 
So uh, I am actually going to need to move. Um, why is that not working? Why can't I move you guys? Did I put you guys on the wrong layer? I may have put you on the wrong layer. I'm a damn fool. Okay, hold on. I accidentally put your tokens on the map layer instead of the token layer. So hold on. I will fix this. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then back to objects layer. And then... And then Beldar. Boop. And we will say that Zeusagar and Noname switch spots so he'd have a clear line of, uh, line of sight to cast the spell. All right, now you guys should be able to click on your icons and move them around. He just keeps drawing lines when he does it. Yeah, I think I'll... Uh, yeah, you want to be up in the select move, uh, the very top uh, pointer instead of the, uh, the drawing. Uh, I can't move it. Hmm. But it got rid of your lines. Hold on. Let's see. That might be on my end. Hold on. Can you zoom in? Um, yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, I didn't realize there were sliders here. Okay, so you should be able to move them now. No. Nope. Can you see him moving when I move him around? Yeah. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Okay. Time. What? I want to see what my fire does. Huh? No, oh, just the sheet. Okay. Hmm, take the most, whatever you want. Oh. Chino's being a little, little noisy right now. I haven't heard him much. What did I? And it's probably a simple little thing that I didn't do right. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Oh. Okay, now Nick, over in uh, the journal, like the tab that looks like a little newspaper. Yeah. See if you can click and drag, uh, click on you know your name there and drag it out onto the map. See if you can drop your own uh, token there. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Okay, now you should be able to move that around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So I figured you're probably, like, right here, and you cast right over to here. So if you move your gut, dude here. Right here? Yep. To where? Uh, I just moved him there. So uh, if you do the same oh. thing with, uh, with no name. All right. Enter there. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so you cast uh, you cast sleep onto the group here. Four of them just drop into a deep sleep. Uh, these two, this one and this one, kind of ping that something ain't right, and they jump to attention and they shout something in goblin. 
Uh, I am going to ask you guys to roll initiative. The way you do that is you open up your character sheet, and uh, in the top center column, you'll see uh, a box that says initiative. Just click on the word initiative, and it should roll it for you. So, <laughs> Beldar Three. rolled terribly. Alright, so I got three. It, nothing really happened, it just said three in it. Well, if you click on the word initiative, it should roll it in the um, chat menu on the side. See, there you go, you got a 27. Oh. And now you can do the same thing on Nonames. You just did. Okay. That's mine. That's yours? Alright, so Nonames got a 27. You've got a 23. Okay. What's initiative? Initiative is the order that you go in combat. Oh. I just gotta write this down on my end, and what in the hell did I do with my... There it is. Found it. Okay, so that's... Uh... 23 for Okay, the goblins are going to... I'm going to roll initiative for the goblins just, you know, as a group. Okay. Oof, okay. Didn't sound good. Yeah, the four is not amazing. Okay, and I rolled for Beldar, I believe, right? Not bad, not bad. Alright, and I will roll for Joss since she is outside for the moment. Her initiative. It's a, not a 22. Well, it's a 15. To assume that I rolled that for her and it's not actually built out for this one. Alright, and she got a 15. Okay, so, at the top of the initiative order is Noname. Uh, basically, combat has started. Um, it seems the goblins know that something is up, uh, but if you make me a quick perception check, you might learn something about the goblin situation. Okay. So that's on, do that? yeah, on Noname's sheet, you just uh, find initiative, uh, sorry, you find uh, perception which is in the list of skills in the left-hand column, and just click on Perception. Oop, she's rolling with, an, with advantage there. We'll take the first one, though, the 20, so that's good. I need to fix something on your sheet real quick. Hold on. Thought I had goofed something there. Okay. There we go. That worked for me, too. Okie okay, doke. Okay, cool. So you both notice that uh, the goblins, they seem to know something's up, but they don't really know where it's coming from. Uh, so they're kind of like looking around trying to figure out what caused that. Uh, the goblin is going to roll his per uh, perception. Let's see how he does. That is an 18. Okay, so the goblin... Uh, does spot you, Azusagar, over in the cave entrance, uh, and he's uh, rather unhappy about this turn of events. Oh, shit. So he is going to, as soon as I get his actual sheet, uh, just do that. 
He is going to lift his short bow and take a shot at you. I'm just going to put myself as the GM instead of everything coming up as Beldar. Alright, the goblin takes a uh, shot at you with the short bow. Why is that saying it just it's just a hit? It is not just a hit. Let's try that again. Hold on. Yeah, okay. No nope, attribute was found for goblin attack. This what? That doesn't make sense. It's a range attack for the plus. All right. Okay. Don't know why this is arguing with me, but fine. Let's give it a plus four to attack, so let's just do it the nor let's do it the regular way. Fine. We'll do it live. Okay. Okay, that is an eleven to hit you, Zusagar. What is your uh what is your AC? AC Armor class? Yep, armor class. I was up there in that armor shape. Yep, it looks like a sh it's in a box, looks like a shield. Fifteen. Fifteen? Alright, he misses with a short bow. Uh, this other goblin, realizing what's going on, takes a shot with a, with his short bow as well. With a twenty-one, he does manage to hit you. Uh, that is a d6 plus two for damage, so he does four points of damage to you. Oh, we're losing you, Dan. Hello? Can you hear me? Yep, good. Okay, gotcha. All right, so gotcha. Uh, the second the second goblin does manage to hit you uh, for four damage. Uh oh. All right, so on your on your character sheet, um, you'll have your current hit points in the center there. All right, so it hit me is what you said. We it, lost you a bit. So yeah, it hit, hit you. Points. It hit you for hit four. Points is eleven right now. Yep, so subtract four. How much damage did I get? You took four damage. Where did it hit for four? For four, yes. Why is my is my mic cutting out? Is that what's happening here? You're going in and out here, man. Okay, let me Okay. That any better? I got you. Okay. So yeah, that goblin did four points of damage to you on his uh, on his attack there. All right, so seven. Okay. All right, so Nodame, it is your action. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh. It's uh, it's Kaz's action actually. Oh. oh. Yep. Should I uh, attack them? If you would like to, yes. Um, you can squeeze past Zusagar down into the. Uh, down into the tunnel here, and you can move up to six squares. So you have plenty of movement to get over and hit this guy. Will it wake up the other ones? Uh, the sleep spell puts them in a very deep sleep. You have to actually cause damage to them to wake them up. So I get six squares. I can move to the six then? Yep, so basically moving over here is one, two, yep, to six. And you can take a uh, attack at this guy. Okay. So that would be your rapier that you generally would use, unless you'd like to use produce flame and just kind of like set him on fire. But that might wake up the other goblins. Oh, uh, then I'll do it the quiet way. Okay. Um, how, do, how do I do that? Okay, on your character sheet, uh, in the center, you'll see... Like the dead center of the sheet, you'll see uh, rapier and produce flame. If you click on the word rapier, it'll roll the attack for you. Okay. Okay. So a, tw a twenty-three definitely hits. Now to do the damage. Now to roll your damage dice in the chat window on the right. Just click on the word rapier, and it'll roll the dice for you and give you a number. What chat window? On the right side of the roll twenty. Like where Is all it these. Terrible? What's that? Uh, I see journal. Uh, you want to uh, be in the first one that has the, the two speech bubbles? I see that. Yeah. Click on that. Click on that, and then down at the bottom you'll see the 23 that you rolled. And yeah. then click oh. on the word rapier. Uh, oh, all the way down. All mm -hmm. the way down, yep. Nine piercing damage. Ouch. 
Uh, that is plenty enough to outright kill this goblin. You sh yeah, you straight up killed that goblin in one blow. Nice. Awesome. You jumped down there, ran up in his face, and just ran the rapier up like right right at the top of his rib cage, right up into his neck. You have kind of like a goblin kebab right now on the end of your rapier. Goblin bob. A goblin bob, <laughs> yes. Okay. Like next up is next up is Beldar, who is going to one two three and he is going to take out one of his daggers and quietly like slit the throat of the sleeping goblin Ooh, what a way to go indeed do we have to kill them all well that's the thing maybe Alright, so taking out a prone, helpless target who's asleep like that is technically an automatic crit. Uh, so... And we'll do the damage on the dagger. Okay, with the damage he did and his sneak attack damage, this, this uh, goblin is quite dead. No more! He has ceased to be. He has ceased to be. Hiding for the fjords. Okay, Zeusagar, it's your turn. Oh. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Nick, it's your turn. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Now we can. Okay. Yeah, it's... It, sorry, it might be your internet. You might be fading a little bit, just... I mean, I am doing quite a bit on this That's end. Awesome. I have the stream going, your too. Your phone is... Looks like it's on a... Is your phone uh, still got a lot of juice? Oh, yeah. It's it's on a charge. Oh. So. Should be good. All right. So where am I, Jim? Uh, you are right here, and it is your action. What do you want to do? Oh, is it Joss up, or...? Uh, Joss is up uh, after you. Oh. Okay. Her initiative was 15. Yours was 20. So you're good. All right. Um, I'm going to move a few. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move down. How many How many spots can I move? Uh, you have 30 feet of movement, and each square is 5 feet. So you can move up to 6 squares and still attack or cast a spell. Okay. Um, Maybe you could get that goblin down there. Is that a goblin? Yeah. Well, I will. I will point out that right here, you can see on the map, that's actually like a five foot incline. So it would cost you two squares of movement to scramble up that. And right here are stairs that you can run up. This so this goblin here, and this one over here are on higher ground. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a few feet over. Um. Move from here to tell me if I'm moving too far. Go you can probably draw a line and ask. Uh, yes, there's actually um, a tool that you can use to draw a line. It's the should be the fourth one down. It looks like a circle with a little ruler sticking out at an angle. If okay. you click on that, you can draw lines on the map. See how I'm doing that? Oh, okay. So that's a good way to figure out if something's in range or not. Um, I think that's No, that, that one. No, yeah. Hmm? The one that says snap to center. Oh. I think. Okay. So I go from here and I go over here. And see if I can take aim. I can get right If I have 30 feet, I can probably go right on. Yeah, you can get right up those stairs and get like. You can go to like right here. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me. Ping. You can go to this square right here and just kind of, you know, poke at him with your short sword if you'd like. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to get over here. Alright, so you need to click back on the top. Oh, got you. you got it. Yep. Okay. Okay, and make an attack roll. Okay, so... You click on... Click on uh, the word short sword and it'll roll. it'll yeah. roll the attack for you. 
Let's see if I can do that. I'm thinking of... I don't know if a sleep one would do. Nah, let's do a short sword to see if I want to kill. The short sword. Let's see what happens. That is an 18. That definitely hits. And it does 6 piercing damage. Okay, so this goblin is not dead, but he is hurting. He may not be on death's door, but he's on the front lawn. Nice. Uh, he is very unhappy about what you've done to him. Uh, let's see. Uh, and his rebuttal is to swing back at you with his scimitar. Crap. And that will be advanced dice roller. A 17. Uh, what was your AC again? Was it a 16? Um. Uh. My, oh, a 15. A 15? All right, so he definitely hits you. And he hits four. Four points of damage. Damn. All right, shoot. I gotta be protective for a while. Yep, yep. Okay, so... Anybody got healing? Uh, 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 Alexandria can do healing, and you guys do have a couple of healing uh, potions, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so Alexandria can get to about here. Um... And she's going to use the rest of her movement to scramble up this small incline and get right in this other goblin's face. Like she's got her uh, long, she's got her great sword out and she's threatening him, but she's not able to take an attack on this turn. Okay, and then it is this goblin's turn, who is going to take a step here. And reach down, grab Sildar Hallwinter by the hair, pull him up close to him, and put a dagger to his throat. Fuck. Drop your weapons or the human dies. What do you do? Uh, has anybody got an arrow, or should we do it? play along. Yeah, a long short arrow might do it. I mean... What are the odds of successfully hitting him between the eyes before he can go... Right. Yeah, it's, it has to be a good kill. Can he see all of this? Yeah. Uh, at the can moment, he... yes. Crap. Uh, okay, so no one can see. No, Bulbazar is right up right in straight distance, I think. So, yeah, that, that would be the only one that could hit. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Do we have to go in a specific order? Well, yeah, you guys are... <clears throat> sorry, you guys are still in combat, so you are technically in combat turns. So, the next one so up really is... It doesn't matter who. Yeah, the next one up is back at the top of the order, uh, which would be uh, Noname. Kaz, it's your action. Um. Oh, I have fire. That's not gonna do much. Mm. Oh, I just have a rapier and fire. Uh, crap. One time, fire isn't. Um. I guess I could drop my weapon. I mean, he doesn't know I can make fire, right? Nope. Okay, so I still at least have some means of defense if I can get close to him after dropping my sword. Maybe. Okay, um, right now, at this little, like, Mexican standoff, I'm going to do a quick pause uh, because I need to run to the restroom, and I want to make sure Joss is here for this next bit because she's, like, right in his face. So we're going to do, okay. do a quick pause on the stream. Ooh. I will be right back. Okay. Where is it streaming?
Yeah. Yeah, I'll drop my sword. I can make fire. Mm. If I need to. Yeah, I was looking at number stuff actually. We did really well with the podcast recently. Well, even though my audio was kind of. No, we shot up. This is just solely based on uh, Podbean numbers. Which means we did a hell of a lot more. If we look at just what we're doing on, um, on all of them. We had. We had a couple thousand downloads just yesterday. Mm. So it shot up like really, really crazy. So it was a good choice for a movie. It was a really good choice for a movie. And we should do what combines with everything else. I think we're going to do really well this month. Mm. Oops. Uh... Yeah, me too. Did you listen to it yet? I did. Yeah, I don't know what to do to improve the audio. Eh, might just been a thing. Well, ours is never quite as clear. Yeah. You flipped the switch last, uh, last time too, maybe that did it. Mm. It was just the one that um, changes it from carcoidal to the round.
Okay, and we are Great to have you back. And we are coming back to the stream. All right. Thank you for waiting around. Uh, that was a quick kind of. We have to take a short break for station identification, but we're back now. Uh, Josh should be getting back on any Hi. second. You're here. Cool, cool. All right. So to give you a quick heads up, uh, now Josh had to leave to take care of something, but uh, she is back now. Um, combat happened. Uh, two goblins were straight up murdered after uh, Nick put them to sleep. Or a large group of them were put to sleep. Um, Noname skewered one with a single blow. Uh, Goblin Yeah, Beldar straight up slit the throat of another. And uh, Zusagar and the other goblin next to him had been kind of jabbing back and forth at each other. You, on your first turn of combat, ran in and scrambled up this uh, little slope here. And basically went to uh, defend uh, Sildar Hallwinter. Mm -hmm. As you did that, the goblin boss, he looks a little bit different than the others, as he saw you scrambling up, reached over, grabbed uh, Sildar by the hair, pulled him up close and put a dagger up to his throat and said, Truce or the human dies. What do you do? Intimidation. Absolutely. And basically say, you harm one hair on his head, and I will be drinking from your skull. <laughs> well done. Nice. All right, make me that intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For those watching on the stream, when a number comes up red, it means she rolled a one on that attack, one. on that intimidation check. Uh, and I don't uh, have lucky. Okay, so yeah, she uh, she attempts to be terribly intimidating, but something about her manner, or possibly possibly her voice cracks a little bit while she's saying it at some point. Tripped. We're not really sure exactly what, but something about that did not come off as threatening as it should have. And uh, and the goblin just doubles down. It's like, no, I said truce or he dies. Ah, uh, shit. <sighs> Fine. Time out. And the goblin, the goblin looks mildly confused. Wait, wait, really? Wait, what, right? Um, you have a friend named uh, Butthead? Uh, um. Uh, no. <laughs> actually, if you're willing to talk, maybe we can make a deal. You intrigue me, <laughs> little smelly man. My name is Yemek. Okay. Little smelly man. Okay. Little smelly man it is. Okay. Look. I'm not here. All right. Let me rearrange the mic here. Okay. Look. I I'm I'm not here because I want to be. The boss has has brought us all here. He thinks he can make a killing off the road leading into the into town. I don't want to be here. I want to go. If you, if you can take out our boss, then they'll have to listen to me. I'm second in command, and we could just leave. No more ambushes. Um, can I roll insight? Go for it. If it, if either of you would like to roll insight to see if it, if you can tell if this guy is telling the truth or not, you can. I'll roll. Jesus Christ. I'll roll in, sorry, sorry. Okay, it should be on your skill list there. Jesus. Ooh. Oh. Alright, and Kaz, what did you get? Oh, um... I mean, I you don't have to do it if you don't want to. 
All right. The, oh, we, we just did. Um, all right, so you got a 10. Okay, so the 10 and the 7 aren't going to be great. Oh. However, Zusagar, you yes. you seem... Like, it looks like this guy is being, like, legit. Like, the hate in his eyes when he talks about his boss, it seems like he might be... He seems like he might be telling you the truth. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? We got you. We got you now. Yeah. It said I said it seems like he's telling you the truth. Right. I'm insightful. I'm looking at uh -oh. you like what do you think? Oh, uh, we kind of lost you for a second, but... Um, uh, yeah, I believe him. So, so, will you take out Clark so me and my boys can leave? Okay. What's Clark? Clark, uh, he's, he's further in the cave. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's a bugbear. He's a little bit bigger than we are. But, uh, yeah, if you... Hmm? I said great. If you if you head down the, the tunnel here and he comes over to the edge here, like he puts Sildar down, comes over to the edge and points down this uh, this tunnel over here. If you head down that way and oh. just keep oh. following the cave, you'll find him eventually. Uh, the the rest of the the rest of the boys are over there too. Um, they might they might try to, to hurt you. Um, if you tell them, if you tell them, what? if you tell them Yemik says it's okay, they'll let you pass. Yemik sends his regards. Well, you don't have to get yeah, all fancy, true. but sure. Yemik sends his regards, got it. Well, if you want to be fancy, sure, okay. <laughs> Look at me. I'm nothing. What? Look at me! Not fancy. Now, I'll stash this kebab elsewhere so he doesn't touch. Hey, you just kind of like slide him off the end of your rapier. Just <laughs> all right, sounds good to me. I whip the blood, like whip the blood across the sleeping goblins. You know, yeah, they did it. They have very pointy long teeth. You know, what's his name again? But the the second in command. Yeah, Yemik. Y E E M I K. You know, Yemik, you may want to think of maybe a different profession. Have you ever thought of a traveling sideshow? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, find finding legit work when you're, you know, a goblin is a little hard, but uh yeah, I didn't think about that. You may want to consider it. Yeah. What's a sideshow? Maybe I don't know. Huh. You can make it up. We'll have to figure that one out. What Instead do you of scaring people, you make people happy. What do you say, Glark? Yes, you oh, oh, Glark. Glark's dead. Um, <laughs> and the rest of you are asleep. Yeah. Yo, yo, uh, uh, Gorg, you're, you're still alive, and the, the, the goblin that was fighting you, Nick, is, is like, bleeding out of the throat. It's like, yeah, boss, I'm okay. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? You, you want to be a sideshow? Okay. Does that mean I can stop bleeding? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we got, <laughs> so we got a deal. You take out, you take out Clark, and I'll keep, I'll keep this guy safe over here until it's done. You bring me Clark's head, and now I'm in charge. Now I'm the boss, and we can just get out of here and start a sideshow, whatever that is. I hope Clark doesn't have, like, kids or something. <laughs> ah, don't worry about him. He's a jerk. We don't like him. He's mean. Bugbears are mean. Oh, oh okay. My outer player knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you have uh, you have reached a truce with Yemik and his remaining goblin gang. Um, so, he heads over to the goblin that uh, Zusagar had nearly killed and helps him, like, wrap up his wounds. Um, Zusagar, you're fairly well hurt as well, aren't you? 
Yeah. All right, Joss, as a paladin, you have the ability to lay on hands. I do. Who's hurt? Uh, Nick, you have a pool of five. You have a pool of five hit points that you can heal per long rest. So, you guys also do have two healing potions uh, each on your person. It was part of your payment from uh, from Gundren. So, how would you like to go about uh, healing Susagar's wounds? How injured are you? Uh, I'm at a three. I was going to say, on a scale of 1 to On a scale of 1 to 11, he looks to be about a 3. Okay. Um, I will uh, lay on hands and give him 3 hit points back. Okay, so you're back up to 6 hit points now, Nick. So I tap you on the shoulder and go, it's okay, friend Bard. I shall help you. And when she does that, it feels really, really good. Uh, oh, also, I had forgotten, um, Nick, you have an ability, uh, it's a feat called, uh, Inspiring Leader. I had forgotten about that before. So, I'm gonna say we can assume that you would have given an inspiring speech before you guys went in here. Which, oh, yeah. Which means, yeah, since I forgot about it before, I'll just give you guys the temporary <laughs> hit points now. Um, in the box underneath your current hit points, mm -hmm. you'll see temporary hit points. You each mm -hmm. have five temporary hit points right now. Sweet. Be awesome. Because that's what Inspiring Leader does. Like, before you head out for the day, you give, like, a, you spend, like, ten minutes giving an inspiring speech, and everybody is emboldened, and they get, uh... Your bard level. That's what bards do. Yeah, it gets your bard level yep. plus your uh, plus your charisma modifier in extra hit points. So, okay, so uh, all right, so you've reached a truce, and um, Yimik said that the uh, rest of the goblins. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yimik, Hi. Yeah, Yimik said the rest of the goblins were down the tunnel in this direction. What do you do? I head down um, that direction. Okay, what is your marching order? Um, because just, the, the tunnel's all, only wide enough for you to go single file, so what is your marching order? The squishies should probably stay behind me. Okay. So you're going to go head of the pack? Uh, Beldar is going to go right behind you so he can do his perception checks to look for traps. Mm -hmm. And the other squishy would be Zusagar, so it's probably best if you go in the middle. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Is it up? You, you, uh, I don't know. You roboted a little there. I couldn't hear you. Yeah, you guys did too. Okay. Is it better yeah, now? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you now, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably just the nature of the connection or something. Yeah. That and me running the stream in the background is probably taking up some bandwidth, too. Yeah. Possibly. That shouldn't bother them. No, well, it's it's them getting received on my end, is my oh, guess. True. All right, so I'm thinking Zusagar should go in the middle, and Noname can take up rear guard because she's also a fighter, right? That's fine. Uh, I'll... I'll move, uh, where do you want me to do? Behind Belvedar? Uh, or, yeah. Or, 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 so, okay. right, o right over here. Okay. I'll keep you squishy butt safe. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Joss, I will move your token forward a few sp spaces. Sure. Now, you're not going to be able to see it because you're in the fog of war. So that's why I use this to reveal part of the map that's been hidden. A passage. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so you guys are heading down the <coughs> passage in this direction. Um, you head forward a couple more squares, and I need you, Joss, to make me a perception roll. <laughs> Perception 11. Okay. 
Uh, I need to make a quick roll myself over here. If I was playing my thief, I would be fantastic. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Thief. I have a thief, thief. on Tuesdays. Oh. Yeah, on Tuesday she plays a an arcane trickster thief. I thought you said something about playing with your feet. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of stream. Okay. I play with Bobby Whoa. Jones. Damn it, Bobby. So as you come around this corner, you spot a rickety kind of ramshackle bridge moving over uh, the moving over that stream that was going through the middle of the cave. Mm -hmm. And you can yeah. see uh, hiding on the end of the bridge is another goblin. He seems to be taking like he seems to be hiding at the end of the bridge and looking down in this direction. Uh, hold on, I'm on the wrong thing. Down in this direction, like he's watching for intruders. So okay. you figure from down there, he's probably pretty well hidden. But from your angle, you can see him fairly well. Uh, what do hey, you do? Hey, bard friend. What Yo. was the goblin's name again? Uh, god damn Yemek? 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 Yemek, that is correct. Yemek. And did we get the name um, of that goblin? This goblin? No. You know you know the names of two guys. Yemek and Clark. Hey, goblin. I kept thinking you were saying Clark. <laughs> so I'm like, you better not have glasses and turn into fucking Superman. I love it. Goblin. Goblin. You are terribly hidden. Okay, the goblin uh, startles, jumps, ah! And he turns, he sees, like, a human in the in the tunnel. He's like... <laughs> he's, like, Yemek reaching... He sends his regards. <laughs> he takes out his short bow, he pulls it, you say, Yemek sends his regards. Yemek? Yes. Your second in command. Are we leaving? You will be. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. He's actually doing it. He owes me three copper. He owes me three copper. Go on. Go, go, go. Clark's that way. Go, go, go. <laughs> Thank you, little other smelly friend. And he points down this way. He's like, Clark's that way. Go, 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 go. All right, so you continue on down the passageway. Oop, I clicked the wrong thing. And he like points you in this direction, so I'm going to reveal a bit more of the map for you. Okay. As you are heading up, like these, these right here look like stairs. Oop. Yeah. These look like stairs kind of hewn into the rock, so you're heading f uh, uh, further up and up, and as you're going, the sound of flowing water gets louder and louder. It seems like there's almost like a like, like a waterfall, possibly, even up ahead. Oh man, I have to pee, and I'm wearing half plate. <laughs> <sighs> this is unfortunate. Oh no. There we go. Okay, so you come to basically this kind of passage here, and you can see along the water here, it's got it's like small waterfalls leading down into the stream, and you can see a much larger waterfall back here, and it is basically just filling the room with sound. It's just loud. Uh, loud noise in this room. You can see on the far end of the room, past those three goblins, what looks like another rough-hewn staircase. Right over here. And okay. there's the rough-hewn stairs right here that lead up to this platform where these other three goblins are. So, it's so loud in here that we can't hear each other talk? I mean, if you're near each other, you can hear each other talk, but if something were to happen in this room, chances are the sound wouldn't 
travel to adjacent rooms. Okay, how fast am I? Uh, you have 30 feet of movement, so six squares. Okay. Does the Yemic line work on them? Don't, well, that's that's, that's like, what don't, I want to try. Don't know, you haven't tried yet. Um, I want to run and up if, to... And if we move, can they hear us? Uh, well, they're standing guard. Specifically, this one here is watching uh, the direction you're coming and also right over here. So he may spot you rather than hear you. That's why I'm going to run at him. Yeah. And s scream in his face. You even sense his regards! <laughs> okay. So, whoop. You run up, you kind of grab the goblin, pick him up. Yemek sends his regards! Um, after he... Then put him down. Then put him down. Yeah, after he wets himself, um... <laughs> Does he get it? He's looking at you, he's like, what? Yemek? That two-timing double-crosser, and he tries, he, like, he reaches behind him to grab his scimitar. And I just Grab him again. Roll for initiative. Okay. So I need initiative from everybody again. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, you really thought the Yemek thing was going to work on this guy, so you are just totally not expecting that. Uh, right. There's the initiative. That's the second one. It's in the I... center of your sheet towards the top. It's uh, next to your right. armor class. Okay, so 16 for Zeus Cigar, 11 for Noname, right? Okay. Let's see, yeah. All right. And, f oof, ouch, that's a two for yeah, yeah, Alexandria. Yeah. And... I don't want to die next to Robot Goofball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so with that initiative, uh, the top. Oh, oh, my mouse is freaking out. Okay, at the top of the initiative order is going to be Zusagar this time. So uh, yeah. yeah, you you can see what's happening over there. You didn't hear what she was saying, but you assume it was the Yemic thing and. Whether this goblin is just very confused by what just happened, or he's not down with Yemek's plan, he grabs at his at the scimitar on his back and is. Uh, it looks like he's going to try to attack uh, Alexandria. What do you do? You put him to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's sleep tech. Okay, you can do that. Um, let's see oh. now. If you aim it over here. Uh, chances are it'll hit all three of them. The thing with the with casting the spells, I just need you to remember that is your second spell for the day. You will be out. Yeah, you'll, you'll be out of spells. You'll be out of first level spells. You could still cast your cantrips like vicious mockery, and those other and the ones that are under cantrips. But your first level spells, you will be out of them for the day after you cast this one. Which means you won't have any yeah. spells when we go up against Clark. So you'll need them, okay. It's up, it's up to you. You can use the spell now if you'd like. Uh, I don't know, should I go with Vicious Mockery then? That could work. Sure. You can call them. Right. Oh, Isn't that just going to cause damage? Yes. Physical damage, though? Uh, well, it does psychic damage, but yeah. It's basically... To the would... Goblin or to Alexandria? What? It'll do it to the goblin. You, you like, focus it at the goblin. Like, you come up to him and just say, your mother was well-respected in her neighborhood, and that will hurt a goblin. All right, I'll do that. Okay, doke. So, uh, you want to click on Vicious Mockery. All right, so I need to make a wisdom saving throw. Guess what goblins are not great at. Wisdom. Wisdom. That is a 13. The goblin does not save, so I take one point of psychic damage. 
Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, Vicious Mockery also means I can't take reactions until the next turn, so he can't do any uh, opportunity attacks on his turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up will be Beldar. Who is going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Who is going to come up to here. Uh, and he is going to take out one of the many daggers he keeps on his person and jab it into the goblin's back from where he is standing. Uh, doing that, he has advantage on the attack because Alexandria is right in his face. So yeah. with advantage, it means he also potentially gets a sneak attack damage. So let's see, does he hit? He should. Uh, with advantage, he hits on a 21. And that definitely does hit, and the damage... Okay, this goblin is... This goblin is dead. Before he could even draw his weapon, he just, like... You just, like... Alexandria, you just see, like, the tip of one of Beldar's daggers pop out of the, the goblin's chest, and he just <laughs> falls limp to the ground. And when the yeah, when the goblin drops, uh, you see uh, you see Beldar behind him, and you just see like a big toothy grin behind his behind his red beard. He's like, <laughs> and he turns to face the other goblin behind him. All right, Noname, your turn. Oh, uh, uh, how come I'm behind uh, Zusagar? Well, I mean, we can. Zusagar? Yeah, we can say that you would have been like here. Or possibly here, like you've been able to see everything that's been going on in here, so you can you can still rush in if you would like. Uh, hmm. now, and when you do your movement, uh, since you're going square by square, remember you can move through an ally's square. Basically, you can just kind of like brush past one of your allies, but an enemy will block that the square that they're in. Uh. uh... And moving on a diagonal, yeah, moving on a diagonal counts as five feet. Should we? Is there a way to? I don't know. Uh, get them to stop attacking us without skewering them. Doubtful. My sword's dirty. Um, I don't know. That 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 ship might have sailed. All right, all right. Um, you, you can't just go up. And say, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you can. You, you can try. But it's too loud. You can try. It's very, it's loud in here, uh, but you can try. You can attempt a uh, persuasion check to see if you can get them to try to calm down. I don't think there's diplomacy in this game anymore. I think no, it's, there isn't. I checked. Uh, you can, tr yeah, you could try a persuasion check. Um, uh, an intimidation check might get them to back off as well. How do I tell what I'm better at? Well, on your on the sheet, uh, each each of the skills will have a number in front of it. The higher the number, the better you are at it. That's the number that gets added to the D twenty. Look at it. Oh, okay. Intimidation or persuasion? Where's where are those? Intimidation is under insight. You've got a plus oh, two for intimidation and a plus oh, two for persuasion. Matter. Yeah, they're both based on charisma. So it doesn't matter. So I'm not going to uh, sorry, you you roboted there. What was that? Well, I mean, you're not awful. You have a plus two, so you could still try it. Um, or... You could, or you could come in and attack. That's up to you. What? I say you robot and I didn't catch the last thing. I'm not good at either then. Well, that's the point. All right, so maybe coming in and stabbing is the way to go. Hmm. You'll never know unless you try. Yeah. Yeah. There, true. there is always the chance of rolling a natural twenty, and a natural twenty is always a success. 
Am I able to get to that square where the number seven is? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a straight line 20 feet, so if you just go 15 and then 5, yeah, you can definitely get there. Is it going to out because it's dark? Or should I light a light? Uh, that's up to you, however you'd want to do it. You have, uh, you have dark vision, so you can see just fine. And there are torches on the walls, so this room is dimly lit. It's not super dark. Oh, so I, I don't need it. Okay, I'm, I'm not, if I just, you know, go in front of them, I'm not going to be, like, sneak up behind them and freak them out. Probably not, no. Probably not. Okay, I will proceed carefully to the square number seven. Okay, so I can move you over. Oh, you got it. Okay. So, persuasion, then. Uh, try a persuasion. It has gone. We're here on orders from uh, Yemek. Okay. We're gonna relieve you of duty. So make me a make me a persuasion roll. Oh. Uh, I just click on the word. You click on the word persuasion. Yep. Oh, I heard it go. Whoop. Yep. That's a seventeen. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so this goblin was getting ready to square up and fight with um, with Beldar, uh, but you come up and says, "Hey, hey, we're here with Yemek. You know, we're you know, we're, we're on Yemek's orders." He's like looking at you, looking over at uh, Beldar. Like, Clark's in there, and he points up the stairs over here. He's in there, and he's got his two biggest suck-ups. Make it hurt. Will do. Let's go. All right, and we are uh, officially out of combat, unless, Joss, you would like to, like, take a swing? It's up to you. No. Okay. So this goblin do, do, goes to leave, and same thing with this one. Goes to leave the room. They're gonna go laugh at the nipples, rocks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's their favorite part. <laughs> you squish it together and make a cross-eyed torso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it looks like you have one one last place to go, up this rough-hewn staircase here, and into the lair of Clarg. Lark. What do you do? Who goes first? What is your marching order? Do you just run in there and start swinging a sword? Do you... Um, well, I don't think anyone's got Molotovs right now, so you can't really throw, like, firebombs in there or anything. Not really. But... Yeah. I know my points are still really low, so I want to stay to rare if it's okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's fair. Uh, bards are actually good as uh, backline support. Yeah, you shouldn't be yeah. in front. Who's got the best hit points? Me. Okay. okay. Well, I think, just, oh, what, what's your hit points? I have currently 18. Oh, okay, yeah. I think yeah, I think you have 14, yeah. All right. Well, what about those temporary ones? That's How long temporary. Do they those, those stay until your next long rest uh, or until uh, they are used up. Uh, when you take damage, the temporary hit points go first. Okay. Um, I mean, does, don't all of all of us have five extra hit points? Yes. Yes, yes, you do because okay. I had forgotten to but give you them to you before. Base. But I assume uh, eighteen is your base, right? No. No, thirteen it's, is her base. Thirteen is my base. Oh. And Beldar. Thirteen is my base. Yeah, Beldar's base is uh, is eleven. Uh, so, uh, I guess I have the highest hit points. Uh, as a fighter, yeah. Probably. Basically, your two highest stats went into Dexterity and Constitution. Because as a duelist, Dexterity is your more imp most important stat rather than Strength. Yeah, I have Strength. Whereas Alexandria, uh, it's going to be Strength and Charisma that are her important stats because she's a paladin. What's, I'm charismatic. What's a paladin? <laughs> okay, we, we were just interrupted by a, a caller. Yeah, we just lost you for a second, dude, so I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay. 
Uh, we're just saying that you have your highest stats are dexterity and constitution, Kaz, because as a fighter, constitution's important, and because you're a duelist, dexterity is the stat you use for your weapons instead of strength, which is what uh, Alexandria uses because she's a paladin. She's got the big honking sword, and she uses strength and charisma as her important important skills or important stats. All right, so who's going in first? Um, it's up to you, Cass. Did we lose you guys? You there? Hello? Hello? Hello. Okay, yeah, we just lost you for a second, sorry. Weird, okay. No, I think it was just uh, somebody tried to call me, and I think, um, I think Discord just knocked me out. Ah, uh, because you're using, using your phone for it? Yeah. That'll do it. It's like dial-up again. Oh, God! Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, okay, Corey, right. I, Corey, I just saw what you asked in the stream. I don't know how long ago that was. Uh, Joss is playing a paladin. Um, Kaz is a fighter, is a duelist. Nick is a bard. And Bob, right. who's not here right now, I'm playing his character, is playing a rogue. Okay, so, uh, so Kaz, you're going to head in first? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this room, you see four individuals. Uh, there is, there are two goblins, there is what appears to be a wolf, and in, uh, back in the corner, you see what you know to be a bugbear. A bugbear is a type of goblinoid. They are big, they are brutish, they are nasty. Uh, they also tend to be relatively cowardly. They're kind of the bullies of the goblinoid world. And they tend to run goblin gangs simply by dint of them being the biggest. Uh, this particular bugbear is wielding... What is he wielding? Hold on. Uh, bugbear. This particular bugbear is wielding a uh, morning star. A big, pointy... Uh, uh, mace? It's basically a mace, but with spikes rather than just a blunt end. Yeah. Oh. Spiky. So it appears this bugbear is the aforementioned Clarg, the leader of the of the Cragmaw Goblin, uh, like gang. Um, before combat starts, I will let you guys place yourselves however you want. Uh, you know, in this outside area on the stairs so that you can have good positioning and don't have to spend a turn just running up. So where would you have been placed? Um, with myself right over here. Okay. I would say Beldar is probably right alongside Noname, unless, uh, unless, Joss, you want to be there. Uh, it's probably best if I am, actually. Fair enough. He'll back up. You should be able to. I cannot. Okay, well, hold on. Let me get rid of your token from here and have you drag your token out from the journal. So if you go to the tab, looks like a uh, newspaper, and drag your name on. Now you should be yeah. able to move it around. I'm fine now. Cool, cool. All right, so I'm going to need initiative one more time. Let me get another piece of paper because that one's full up. All right, so boom. That is a. All right, I'm gonna. Yep, oh, Jesus should, Christ! Wow. Okay. That's the third one. <laughs> Your initiative is terrible. My rolls are terrible. I just clicked it. Did it work? Uh, yep. Yep. Looks like you got a nineteen. Oh. That's... Yeah. Oh, that was for me? Oh, oh I, I thought I was... Well, no, I, I, no I, I know it was yours. It's coming up as Zeusigar because you're on um, Nick's, oh. Nick's account. But I oh. know that your initiative is a plus nine, so I can see it on the thing, so I know that was yours. Yep. Okay, so they're all for me. Yep. And you have a 
rolled a 20. Wow. That's a, that's a crit. Shit. Wasted crit. All right. Let's do a cigar. Okay. And... A fucking two. Who got the 12? That was... Clark with two Gs. Alexandria, and I need to actually roll for Beldar. Do, 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 do. Got a 15. And back to the die roller. Okay, so top of the order, Zusagar, what are you going to do? I, um, I'll move one level forward, hang back, and see if anybody needs my help. Okay. Hold your action. Uh, so in that case, you're going to hold your action, which means uh, by the end yeah. of this initiative, uh, basically um, after Joss goes, uh, if you haven't taken your action yet, you can take it. You can take your action at any point during uh, the initiative here. Uh, just, you know, you can take it as a reaction to something else. Okay. All right, so, um, Noname, you're up. I... See. Am I able to get to... Uh, I, I should be able to get over here. Absolutely. And then I'll attack from behind. Okie doke. Uh, make me, uh, so move your token over and then make me an attack roll. Uh, oops, where, where is, oh yeah, there. Oh. Okay, um, what a, oh, here we go. That definitely, right that definitely hits. Kill it with fire. Oh, do I push the button again? Uh, nope. You click on the word rapier over here in the uh, in the chat window. Okay, I just did eight yeah. piercing. Okay, um, yeah, you're you're Noname the Goblin Slayer at this point <laughs> uh, because yeah, oop, no, he does not have seventy hit points. He has zero hit points. That did not work out the way I planned. Okay. Yeah, you, you killed him so hard he came back to life three times. Oh my. Another dead goblet on the end of your rapier. Mm. Okay. Uh, so next up is uh, Beldar the Bold. So he is going to... Let's see. 5, 10, 15... What's more dangerous? The goblin or the wolf? Uh, well, considering how quickly you're taking down the goblins, you have a feeling that the wolf might be more dangerous. Mm. Okay, so Beldar comes over. Strategy for the wolf too. Beldar comes over and he takes a stab at this goblin with one of his daggers. Uh, he does not have advantage, which means sneak attack would not happen. But he's still going to take a swing. With a twenty-one, he hits for a whopping. Holy crap! Okay. Good job. He straight up runs this goblin through. Okay, uh, next up is Clark. Uh, Clark is rather upset about the uh, turn of events that has happened in the last three seconds. So he steps forward and goes to clobber Beldar with his, uh, with his morning star. Shit. Okay, that... Why doesn't it roll the actual attack? That is so dumb. What is the actual attack? It's going to be... Plus... Stupid machine. Okay, with a 13 versus Beldar, that is going to miss, unfortunately. And he doesn't have multi-attack, so it's... Uh, yeah. Oh, darn. Okay, so uh, the bugbear misses, uh, and next action is the wolf, who is boom, boom, 
I'm gonna come over and take a uh, try to take a chunk out of Beldar. It's not much. It's probably not much there, Wolf. And again, misses. Okay. Yay! I'm doing awesome in this boss fight. Uh, the Gerblins stay dead. Uh, Alexandria, you're up. Oi! Pick on someone your own size. He's like a full head and shoulders taller than you, and he's just like... That's fine. Yeah? Where is he? I stab him. Alright, make me an attack roll. Now, on your attacks, you will see two things. Your greatsword, and then something that says GWM Strike. Yeah. That is a strike using your great weapon master feat. Basically, right. you take a minus five to your roll, but if you hit, you do an extra ten damage on top of whatever you roll. Jesus. So... It's basically power attack. You can do either of those. I'm going to use the great sword first. The regular attack? Okay. Yep. Um, so I click on the great sword? On the word great sword, yep. A 15 versus Clark. Let me, let me double check something real quick. I think... I, bel I think that hits, but I need to confirm. Uh, that is just a miss. Damn it. Basically, uh, yeah, you just miss. It kind of, he, he manages to get the butt of his uh, Morningstar up just in time to kind of clang your sword away and not do any damage. I'm going to bite you. All right, so uh, this is the end of the order. Uh, Nick, you still have an action held in reserve. What did you want to do? Okay, I'm going to go ahead a few spaces. I'm going to... Um... Can you move? Does that count? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to move down here. I'm going to use the short bow here to take out the wolf. Okay, I would recommend uh, staying back a couple of squares, maybe to here. So like right here. Because when you take a uh, when you take a ranged attack right in melee, they have a chance to attack you. Okay. So I'll if you, if you have a, yeah, if you have at least a square between you and your enemy, it's uh, it's better for you. All right. So. Uh, yeah. I'll do that. I'll use the short bow. Okay. That's a crit. That is a critical hit. Uh, you hit and how. So when you click on the word short bow, it will roll your damage twice. Because you critically nice. hit. That would be ten. Well, damn. Okay, the wolf. The wolf yelps in pain, uh, and it is not dead, but it it, it looks it terribly hurt. It is it is on death's door, and it's bleeding on the on the on the doormat. Does okay. that mean it can't attack anymore? No, oh no, it can still, still attack. Can. As long as you have at least one hit point, you are fine. Once you lose that last hit point, you drop. <sighs> okay, so back up to the top of the order, and it is Zusagar, you again. Oh, me again, alright. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so... Uh, well, oh, might as well try to take the wolf out completely. Alright, make me another attack. Alright, I uh, will do the short bow. Yep. Uh, 16 hits. Okay. Let's see. And There's nine. Right? Another nine. And, yeah. Bye -bye. That wolf is very dead. It had one hit point left. Bye-bye. Wipe yourself off, man. You did. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that all fucking night. Of course, as soon as you try to use that bow on the, uh, on the bugbear thing, it's probably going to crap out. Mm, yeah, possibly. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, Kaz, you're up. No Name's turn. Okay, I do. Can I be diagonal from it? Yes, as long as you are in an adjacent square and the diagonals count as as adjacent. Okay, um, I will attack. All right, now before you before you attack, uh, this uh, two of your allies are fighting the same enemy. Which means you have advantage on your roll. So on your character sheet, oop, I clicked the wrong thing. On your character sheet, uh, up at the um, in be like at the top of the sheet, you'll see a tap. It'll say advantage, normal, and disadvantage. And right now, normal is in red. Yeah, if you normal should be in red right now. If you click advantage, it'll roll twice for you, and you'll take the better result. Which is a good thing. Okay. 
So uh, and I just hit break right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, 16 versus, uh, versus him. That hits. It, it hits his AC exactly. Do I hit rapier? Mm-hmm. Ow. Well, uh, Fucking I ow. Okay. And we're level Ooh. one. You're level one, yeah. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Fucking dude. Did say ow like Christopher Walken, too? Ow. ow. Fucking ow. <laughs> Guys, come on. Jelly donut. All right. And now oh, Beldar, who's... <laughs> Character sheet I clicked out of for some stupid reason. Hang on, let's pull that back up. Beldar has advantage, and since he has advantage, that means his sneak attack would work if he hits. Let's see, dagger. That's yeah, that's a hit. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another twelve. Yay! I'm kick I'm kicking my own ass over here. <laughs> what you're the bugbear yes yeah, yeah i'm running the bugbear so i'm running both beldar and the bugbear so i'm basically kicking my own ass okay so uh now the bugbear gets to fight back um who is he most angry at at the moment i <laughs> haven't see. done anything no no I you have not him. uh Probably me. Yeah, it looks like the one who hurt him the most is you, uh, Noname. So he's going to take a swing at you with his Morning Star. Crap. Give you me something. 22! That's oh, a hit. Jesus. Yeah. That is a hit. That is a palpable hit. It's not a crit, though. It is not a critical, no. But let's see here. And that is... Okay, 2d8 plus 2. Oh, no. That is 12 points of damage. Uh, so remember, my armor protect me? Uh, your, ar your armor is basically... Uh, what your armor class does is uh, determines whether or not you actually take a hit. It doesn't protect from the damage. That was its thing before. So uh, basically you take 12 points of damage. Remember, your temporary hit points are used up first before your normal hit points get uh, take any hits. I'm down to seven. Okay, but you're still standing. You're still doing okay. As long as you have, as long as you have positive number of hit points, you're okay. Ow. All right, where were we? Uh, let's see. It's the wolf's turn. Wait, it's dead. It's the goblin's turn. Wait, they're dead. It's my turn. Alexandria, you're up. Stabby, stabby, great sword stabby. Do you get okay. advantage? You have advantage, so this might be a this might be a good time to use the other gra one. great weapon master. All right. All right. Damn it. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that's still gonna miss. His AC is a sixteen. All right, so that's back up to the top of the order. Zusagar again. All right. Oh man. I am a useless paladin. Let's see. Now, oh, if, if you use your short bow, um, he is going to have a higher AC simply because you'll be f uh, firing into a combat with your allies. So you're basically just trying to, trying to wait for the best shot and trying not to shoot Nanami in the back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if... Um, I don't know if the vicious mockery or sleep would help. Uh, well, sleep probably wouldn't do much uh, at the moment. Vicious mockery could. I can tell you now, he is. His hit points are low enough that if you roll well, you may well take him out with vicious mockery. All right, I'm gonna try that. Okay. So I have to make a wisdom save. Let's see. Your mother smells uh, the others. I hit that well. And wisdom save of... <laughs> no, I did not make that wisdom save. Okay, so you hit him with Vicious Mockery. It's not quite enough to kill him, but he is so hurt. 
On a scale of 1 to 27, he is about a 1. Yeah. What was your insult? Yeah, what did you say to him? You are a fraud. You are a fraud. Your mother was a hamster and your father raped a Valdeberry. Oh! And you see him, like, take damage to his very soul from that attack. All right, Noname, you're up. Uh, is, mm. You still have advantage as well, so... When you okay, uh, then I'll try uh, running them through again. Okay, make me an attack. You could just uh, bomb them on the head at this point. At th- yeah, at this point you can just kind of give them a little flick and it'll probably be enough. Uh, yeah, both of those would have hit, so yeah. So click on Rapier. And he is, yes, he is very dead. Uh, you... <laughs> Yeah, you run him through, and I would say that you'd behead him, but a rapier is not really a slicing type of weapon. Uh, but you do kind of put the rapier in through his neck, comes out the back of his neck, and you just kind of see his tonsils hanging on the end of your rapier. Ew. <laughs> All right. Yep. And yeah. And with that, it is now just about 10 o'clock, so uh, this is where we're going to call it for this evening. Um, I will. Yep. I will keep this map here, and we can uh, we can do this again, if you guys want. I'm thinking we can probably do this uh, every other Monday. Just uh, okay. yeah. You know, I've got a couple other games that I'm running as well. I don't want to like completely burn myself out. So, um, so not next Monday, but the 25th. Want to play again? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So. We're we going to travel back to Yemek and show them our prize. Yes. Yep, that's the idea. Now, since you're out of combat right now, we can just kind of do that roleplay thing. So, uh, I'm assuming because you got the big old honking sword, uh, I'll cut his head off. Jossel, uh, yep, Jossel behead him, and you head back to Yemek. He's got several. Oh, it's time for my pills. Okay. You uh, head back to Yemek. He has woken up the rest of his goblins and kind of tossed the dead bodies of his fallen comrades into the river so they slowly wash away. Uh, Yemek is really, really surprised when you walk up and just kind of drop uh, Clark's head on the ground in front of him in a wet puddle. And he's like, huh. Well, I mean, Okay. I mean, we can we can just go, right? Yes. We, we, that was our agreement. He's dead. I'm in charge now. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Where's our, where's our friend? Oh, uh, he's over here. And you see, you see him. The the goblins seem to have done their best to try to patch up his wounds. He's got a couple of really dirty bandages like wrapped around him. Just like we did what we could with what we had. Um, that might be infected, though. You might want to get that looked at. Uh, how? Um, sure. All no right. Name. No name. Um, yep. How wounded are you? I have. Uh, I'm down to half my hit points. A but, seven. But you're still okay for right now. Uh yeah. All right. As I'm long gonna, as you don't run into anybody. I'm gonna walk over to him and use my other two lay on hands. Okay. So you give him back two hit points. He is now back up to three whole hit points. Uh, so Sildar picks himself back up. He's, he's he's still wobbly. He's still you know hurt. You can tell he's you can tell he's sick. Because uh, you know he's probably got an infection. He's probably got you know gotten some kind of some kind of horrible disease from this uh, from this ca- from these caves. He kind of looks at the group. He says, "Huh." And you know, I tried to talk Gundren out of hire and a bunch of mercs. <laughs> kind of, kind of shows me, doesn't it? I am not a merc. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Easy there, easy. So yeah, I uh, I'd love to get out of this cave. Uh, do you, do you know like where can we go nearby? And uh, you make who is. Yeah, Yemek, who's, like, shoving stuff into his pack and, you know, kind of ordering the other goblins around. He takes a bag, throws it on his back, he goes, There's a town not too far from here, maybe maybe about a day's travel west. Uh, there's uh, another another tribe of goblins that's been causing trouble over there. We have it, we're not really welcome over in that direction, but the town, the town should be safe enough. It's a place called Oakhurst. 
They'll, they'll take care of you. That's the closest place around here. We're going to go east, so don't worry about us. We're not going to go join up with no other goblin bands and then come back and fight you like ten levels later or nothing, so you don't need to worry about that. No, you should make oh, okay. your sideshows and treat yourself well and perhaps change your, change your alignment. Have you, has anyone ever talked to you about our Lord and Savior, Lathander? I gotta go. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna we're, yeah. See, it's it's okay. Um, I'm happy with my carrier. I I'm, I'm happy with 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 my with my god. And 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 we're we're just gonna go. Okay, we're, we're gonna go. Okay. You guys have a good life. We're leaving. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. I love how the goblins are from like New York. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, uh, you guys have finished the Cragmaw hideout, uh, and you'll all be level two when we play next. Um, awesome. I can help you guys level up your characters, or I can do it for you. Uh, it's up to you, however you want to do it. You should give them, uh, at least Nick, um, the opportunity to look at spells sure. and see what he wants. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can I can link you to a list of uh, bard spells, because every, every time you gain a level, you learn new spells. And mm-hmm. um, when you hit certain levels, you gain access to new levels of spells. Yep. Yeah. And um, okay. and Kaz, if you want to be able to cast spells as a fighter, when you get to level three you, is when you get to choose your specialty. Like every class chooses a specialty at some, at some point. Some classes pick it right away like clerics and warlocks. Uh, most of them pick it at level three. There is a fighter class called the Eldritch Knight, which basically wields a sword in one hand and casts spells with the other. Oh, Eldritch Blast. Nope, that's out El- that's warlocks that have Eldritch Blast. I know. So Warlock, what do you Eldritch Blast? You're not gonna say I Eldritch Blast, that's what I do. I'm a warlock, it's my thing. <laughs> All yeah, right. that sounds cool. Cool, cool. Alright, so I will move you guys back to the little play area here to keep that map secure all right and with that i'm gonna say that's the end of our stream for this evening uh those of you who've come to watch thank you very much uh i will probably be putting the archive of this up on my youtube channel uh it's mr blackrock uh at youtube uh shouldn't be hard to find uh so you have been listening to the well, the majority of the Movie Theater Time Machine podcast playing D&D. Uh, if you listen to podcasts, go check us out. Movie Theater Time Machine podcast. You can find us on pretty much any podcatcher you can, you are, you know, you feel like using. I personally use Podcast Addict. We're up on iTunes. We're up on, I believe we're on Stitcher, right? We are everywhere. Yes, we're everywhere. You can't avoid we're us. Everywhere. <laughs> and if you like us, we have merch. We have merch over on Zazzle, and we also have a, uh, a Discord fan server. Uh, if you look for Movie Theater Time Machine on Facebook, it's a sticky post at the top of our uh, Movie Theater Time Machine. Um, Ooh, we might need to fix it. that link because somebody tried it and, and it, uh, it said that it was invalid. Uh, okay, I'll I'll yeah. work on that. I'll get you a new yeah. link. Uh, so. We'll fix yeah. We'll fix that actually when yep, it yep. comes along. When it comes along, we'll pin it to the top of the Facebook page. Cool, cool. And we'll put it if you follow us on Instagram. We'll put it as a link in the bio. That works too. Alrighty. So, uh, with that, thank you for watching the stream. Check out our podcast. Uh, we're we're a fun group of people. I promise. We are yeah. going we're going through a bunch of theme months right now. Uh, this month, uh, since it's Kaz's birthday month, and it's actually her birthday tomorrow, so happy early birthday. Yay! Um, uh, her, uh, her theme for this month is, uh, Past Futures. It's movies about the future, but the future happened already. <laughs> and this coming week, I think the one is 1984's 1984. Yes. Which is probably the most meta thing we've done. Yes. <laughs> so, Yeah. Uh, check us out. It's a fun time. And uh, with that, I'm going to end the stream here. And uh, you guys have a good night. I'll see you next time.